Hi, so this is one of my paper sticks, and I've been asked lots of questions post doing the paper bike. Now, this stick is 57 centimetres long, weighs 245 grams, and is 24 millimetres in diameter, which gives it a density of around about 950 kilograms per cubic metre. Now, I'm going to compare it to steel, ordinary mild steel, as a density of about 7,850 kilograms per square metre. That sounds like a lot, but of course, when you make it a bike, you use steel tube. So I worked out using that density figure, what a piece of steel pipe like this would be if it had a one millimeter wall. And it turns out it'd be about uh, 329 grams. So it would definitely be heavier if I'd made this in steel than I've made it in sticks. So the sticks weigh less. Now, in terms of their ability to carry a load, what I've got here is a couple of batteries. And I'm gonna put this about a half a meter apart, so we've got about five centimeters of the sticks standing on those batteries, and I weigh about 80 kilograms. I'm not sure I should have revealed that, but let's try and stand on it. There we go. So it can oh, stand an 80 kilogram load. Now it did flex, and I was asked to break it. So I've been giving a go of breaking it, which is why I stood on it. So let's jump up and down on it a bit and see if we can actually break this and have a look at the failure mode. There we go. So I have to jump on it. Now in failure, that's what it looks like. So it's actually quite a clean snap when it fails. So under a static load, at a half meter apart, it'll, wear, it'll carry 80 kilograms. A dynamic load, when I jump up and down on it, then it will fail at that. Now, I'm not sure where the actual failure point would be. I'd need some test equipment. But I was asked those questions, questions like, is it lighter than steel? How much can it carry? And what does it look like in failure mode? So I thought I'd share those with you. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.